All right, guys, today we're back with another Infinity Game Table review, and today the game we're taking a look at is Mad Dash on the Infinity Game Table. Mad Dash is a racing game for two to six players. There is a single mode, so you can do a single race or a tournament mode where you can do a series of races string together to determine who is the first place overall. And the game is a mad dash of moving your pawn all the way across the racing field and being the first one to cross the finish line. You can easily just tap to join at any time throughout the game and the dice We'll start spinning around the middle of the table here and you're trying to fantically click the one that you actually want so your piece moves across the table. You might want to land on this one so you dash forward and get those free spaces like this one here right now. Dashes me all the way. Now I'm looking for a one, frantically looking for a one. I don't want any of those. I might not hit anything on purpose or I might hit one depending on what my strategy is. You're trying to frantically hit the dice that you actually want before someone else does because or else you don't collect that dice at all if someone else hits it before you. The dice are always spinning every three seconds. Like that one there gives me the one. Now you see me dash forward and you do that and you go around the board trying to do that frantically with all your friends two to six players and try to be the first one to cross the finish line but let's go ahead and get into more detail about this game and what this game has to offer game in tech eating brekkie is the game in tech going for a brekkie is the game in tech game in tech is the game in tech game in techie all right, guys, here we are with Mad Dash on the Infinity Game Table. We're here at the main menu here, so you can see there's a single mode and a tournament mode. So we're going to do single for the time being so I can show you guys how this game actually works. This game is a game for two to six players, and it is a racing game that you use dice with. So you can see you can tap to join on here, and you can join at any time in the game. Uh, so if I were to tap these three guys here, you can see the dice pool show up. Those guys will stay like that, but you can join even mid-game if you wanted to. Uh, although you'll definitely be behind in the race if you do, but you can join it anytime you want. So essentially what this game is, like the title suggests, is it's a mad dash to the finish line. So you can see all three of us are starting here, red players there, second players there, third players there. And you're trying to run around the racetrack as fast as possible and be the first person across the finish line. The catch is, is that as soon as this game starts and I hit go, you will see that all the dice in the middle of the table start shining and you have to quickly tap one of these of the one you want. So let's say I hit yellow. I got five spaces and I move up five. So you're frantically looking at the dice there and then pressing the one that you actually want to move that certain amount of dice. The catch here though is that every three seconds these dice are going to keep spinning over and over again so the numbers are going to keep changing. So you have to be fast. And sometimes two players will hit the same one. Let's say that both of these players want yellow. Only one of them is actually going to get it. So let's say that they both click red here. I got it first before him. So he has to frantically find another one that he wants because I clicked it first. Because only one person is going to get that dice. So you're frantically trying to pick the dice that you want. And also, uh, if someone picks the same dice that you went for and now it got taken, now you have to look for another dice that you want before it changes all the numbers again. Because you obviously want to go as fast as possible. But there's also another catch as well. As you're moving forward, you can see there's individual areas that you can actually dash forward. So for example here, uh, let's go ahead and say I hit yellow. I need a four to land exactly on that red. So I look for a four, it's another yellow. I dash forward and skip that whole entire line. Uh, so now I just moved up for uh, f uh, kind of for free. For, for, for So you know you don't want to frantically just pick whatever number you want. You sometimes I want to pick the number to get to that dash to get there as quick as possible. But everyone is going to be going after numbers that are high. So if everyone goes after the four and everyone wants the four, only one person who taps at first is going to win. And you can only tap the dice when the dice are finished being rolled. So for example, as they're flashing right now, you can tap them. But right now, see, I can't tap them because they're being rolled. So now that they're flashing, now we can all tap one and now we can all move. But while they're being rolled, you can't touch them. So uh, right there, I can't touch these right now. You have to wait for them to be rolled. And then you actually touch one that you want. Let's say we all want black because that's a six. That's a good one. Let's move forward. But I should have grabbed a four because I would have dashed forward. So that would have been a mistake. But here's another six. Let's go ahead and move forward again. Uh, so you're frantically both doing that obviously everyone should be picking one I'm obviously just showing you one player But everyone would be picking one to move forward and everyone's racing around the finish line there to uh, try and touch one And you can see everyone's moving around you're trying to get to the finish line here Let's go ahead and just finish this player so you guys can see what the finish line is So let's go ahead and hit black there Actually, let's hit red because that's a five move over there Wait for them to be rolled again. We got another four. Waiting for these to be rolled again. We got a five. Let's go ahead and hit white. And I have crossed the finish line, as you can see there. So I would be deemed the Mad Dash winner. And second place would come out and third place would come out. 
uh, and that's how it would work. Now, there is another mode in the game, as you guys saw. So you can actually play tournament mode, and tournament mode is basically playing a series of six races in a row where it tallies up your record for all of them. So let's say in the first race, you, you get first, in the second race, you get third, in the next race, you get first. It takes all of that and kind of combines them into one for first overall, second overall, third overall, uh, after playing six races. So same idea, but just a longer way of playing. So this game is actually a game that came out of nowhere. I think it's a pretty cool uh, game to have on the Infinity Game Table. Again, I love local multiplayer games. There, this is an own original design from the Infinity Game Table team, and I think it's pretty fun. Mad Dash to be able to race around uh, using the dice, it's a pretty cool idea. The fact that anybody can join at any time is pretty cool, especially if you're playing the longer tournament race, so somebody could hop in mid-race if they want to. Uh, obviously, very, very easy to play, so kids will be able to play this with their families and stuff. Uh, but it has some strategic value when you're trying to go after these different points. You could dash forward and actually not just randomly pick a color. And if you randomly pick a color, but everyone else randomly picks that color, you're going to be stuck getting nothing while the person strategically looking might actually get a dice to go forward. So definitely a little bit of strategy in here on, on which dice to actually pick. You can't just randomly pick because there else you may not go forward and then someone else who's actually paying attention will actually beat you. So I think this is a really fun addition to the Infinity Game Table, an original idea. Uh, so check out Mad Dash on the infinity game table if you guys have any questions about what you guys have seen in today's video as always leave it down below if not thank you guys for watching until next time